Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. should you consider when looking for a used car? Kalau Anda mau beli mobil yang bekas, kira-kira what points should you consider? Kira-kira ada itu uh, yang dipikirkan apa itu? Kalau mau beli mobil bekas itu pertama apanya dulu? Apakah uh, kilometernya ya kan? atau fisiknya atau mesinnya atau apa kira-kira? What what uh, do you think? Silakan. Body mobilnya, Sir. Ah, Dan kualitas. Macam ya. Bisa bodinya, bisa apa? Mesinnya juga kan. Rank these points in order. Ini concern where sebut buying a second car, second hand car. Eh ini. Apakah Anda punya kekhawatiran enggak kalau beli mobil bekas? Misalnya Do you have any worries about buying a second hand car? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, probably yeah. Coba ini ada idiom baru, hit the road. Artinya, leave or depart from a specific place. Nah, hit the road. It's time to hit the road now. Everyone get in the car. Drive at something. What do you mean or imply? Hey, what are you driving at? Are you trying to say that I'm a bad driver? Nah, seperti itu, driving, driving at, maksudnya apa ya? What do you mean? Jadi kita lihat pertanyaan pertama ya. The woman is looking at titik-titik, eh, uh, eh, uh, is looking at a uh, titik-titik minivan. Minivan itu semacam mobil mini yang bisa, apa ya namanya, yang agak besar itu. Van, van. Five year old, seven years, coba nanti dengarkan. The vehicle mileage has titik-titik. Kalau kita mileage itu kan kalau di Indonesia itu kan pasti pakai kilometer ya. Tapi kalau di luar negeri pakainya apa? Miles. Agak berbeda di situ. Kita kan bisa kilometer, tahu udah berapa kilometer. Itu mileage ya. Uh, mileage itu ya jarak. Uh, what is the problem with the minivan door? It will not open properly. It missing the door handle. Handle itu pegangannya ya. It has several scratches. Scratch itu goresan, goresan. Yeah. What thing? What is one thing that? Uh, what is one thing the extended warranty will not cover on the vehicle? Apa satu hal yang uh, warranty itu kayak apa namanya itu ya? ya? Tidak cover. Normal function coach. Apa itu coach? Normal function coach. Dan tahu tak? Coach itu, let's say, Anda bisa buka kamus di apa, kamusnet.com atau di apa? Pengukur. Pengukur. Ukuran ya, pengukur, meteran. Berarti ini meterannya, meteran yang enggak berfungsi. Kilometeran ya, a worn out brake drum. Uh, apa itu? Brake drum. Jadi ini saya kasih gambar. Uh, ini akan lebih 
spesifik ya. Nah seperti ini break drum itu seperti ini ya. Break drum itu apa ya namanya piringannya ya atau apa ya namanya break drum. Bang agak susah istilah ini ya spesifik. A faulty oil pump. Oil pump. Jadi kalau di ini ya faulty yang ini di dalam mesin itu. Kemudian if the manager lowers the price, what will the final price be? Kalau ditawar ya berapa nanti? Lima belas ribu dolar, lima ratus lima atau yang mana ini? Nanti coba dengarkan. Saya rasa itu kita akan dengarkan uh, percakapan yang pertama ya. Uh, Silakan di. Oh, hi there. A beauty, isn't she? Well, do you want to take her for a test ride? Well, um, how old is it? Well, it's only three years old. And what's the mileage? Uh, let me check. Oh, yes, yeah, seventy-five thousand miles. Seventy-five thousand miles. That's quite a bit for a car that's only three years old. Well, once you're in the driver's seat, you'll fall in love with her. Get in. Uh, uh. I can't seem to get the door open. That's it, okay. It could be broken. Ah, just give her a little tap. Oh, now she's open. Great. A door I have to beat up to open. <laughs> get in and start her up. Um. Well, uh, it's probably the battery. I know she has enough gas in her, and I had her mechanic check her out yesterday. Try it again. Uh, it sounds a little rough to me. Well, how much is this minivan anyway? Oh, it's a great bargain today and tomorrow only at fifteen thousand seven hundred seventy-five dollars plus. You get the extended warranty covering defects, wear and tear beyond the normal maintenance on a vehicle for an extra five hundred dollars for the next thirty thousand miles. Oh, with a few minor exclusions. Like? Well, I mean, it covers everything except for the battery and light bulbs and brake drums, exhaust system, trim and moldings, upholstery and carpet, paint, tires. Well, a short list, you know. Uh, well, almost sixteen thousand dollars is a little out of my price range. Mm -hmm. Plus, the seat covers are torn a little. Well, hey, I might be able to talk the manager into lowering the price another two hundred dollars, but that's about all. No thanks. I think I'll just keep. So now I need. Halo. Oke, ulang ya. Yes, sir. Yes. Oh, hi there. A beauty, isn't she? Well, do you want to take her for a test ride? Well, um, how old is it? Well, it's only three years old. And what's the mileage? Uh, let me check. Oh, yes. Yeah. Seventy-five thousand miles. Seventy-five thousand miles. That's quite a bit for a car that's only three years old. Well, once you're in the driver's seat, you'll fall in love with her. Get in. Uh, uh, I can't seem to get the door open. That's it, okay. It could be broken. Ah, just give her a little tap. Oh, now she's open. Great. A door I have to beat up to open. <laughs> get in and start her up. Um, well, uh, it's probably the battery. I know she has enough gas in her, and I had her mechanic check her out yesterday. Try it again. Uh, it 
sounds a little rough to me. Well. How much is this minivan anyway? Oh, it's a great bargain today and tomorrow only at $15,775. Plus, you get the extended warranty covering defects, wear and tear beyond the normal maintenance on the vehicle for an extra $500 for the next 30,000 miles. Oh. With a few minor exclusions. Like? Well, I mean, it covers everything except for the battery and light bulbs and brake drums, exhaust system, trim and moldings, upholstery and carpet, paint, tires. Well, a short list, you know. Uh, well, almost $16,000 is a little out of my price range. Mm -hmm. Plus, the seat covers are torn a little. Well, hey, I might be able to talk the manager into lowering the price another $200, but that's about all. No, thanks. I think I'll just keep it. Yeah, kita coba soal musik. Jawabannya apa ini? Dumu is looking at bla 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 minivan. Three years old. Three years old. Three years old. Okay. Oh ya, sudah. Kemudian the vehicle mileage has berapa tadi? Seventy five. Seventy five. Miles. What's the problem with minivan's door? It will not open properly. It will not open properly. What is one thing the extended warranty will cover, will not cover on vehicle? Apa? Dia bilang apa tadi? Remember? Uh, brake drum. Brake drum, okay. Well, I mean, it, 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 it covered everything except for the battery and light bulb and brake drums, exhaust system, trim. Jadi yang disebutkan banyak ya, tapi salah satunya ini. Terakhir, uh, if the price lower the price, what will the final price be? Um, maybe fifteen hundred and fifteen thousand and five hundred seventy-five. Five hundred. Yes. Uh, fifteen thousand five hundred seventy-five. Yeah. The message is of April. Today, tomorrow only at fifteen thousand five hundred seven hundred and seventy-five, and then the woman says, "Well, it's almost sixteen thousand. It's a little bit out of the price range. Plus, the seats cover are torn a little." Then the car sales person says he can lower the price by another two hundred dollars. So the final price would be fifteen seven hundred seventy-five. Okay, that's right, yeah. Nah, sekarang kita akan lihat transkripnya. Jadi di samping ini kita bisa juga melihat apa transkrip ya percakapan. Jadi ini ini masuk. Hi, identity is on she. Oh, hi there. A beauty, isn't she? Well, do you want to take her for a test ride? Well, um, how old is it? Well, it's only three years old. And what's the mileage? Uh, let me check. Oh, yes, yeah, 75,000 miles. 75,000 miles? That's quite a bit for a car that's only three years old. Well, once you're in the driver's seat, you'll fall in love with her. Get in. Uh, uh, I can't seem to get the door open. That's it, okay. It could be broken. Ah, just give her a little tap. Oh, now she's open. Great, a door I have to beat up to open. Get in and start her up. Nah, ini ada beberapa kosakata baru yang mungkin bisa anda tulis atau saya tulis. Kalau kita tap, tap itu kayak di pukul begitu ya. Tap, beat up sama juga. Ini sinonim ya. Tap itu namanya, beat up itu apa? Verbnya. Jadi misalnya seperti ini, nanti bisa juga ditulis di diskusi online. Kalau nanti Anda mem, me, melihat ini, ada defect misalnya. Oh, defect itu berarti kayak, defect itu scratch sama itu. Ya, scratch. Scratch, defect sama. Ya, sebenarnya. Nanti upload story, di bawah ini ada ini. Tetapi, <tuh> often used on furniture or car seats. Di up, Upholstery on these seats need to be replaced. Upholstery itu kayak apa ya? Jok kalau kita istilahnya jok ya, jok, jok mobil. Nah itu tempat duduknya itu tuh joknya ini upholstery. 
diterjemahkan mungkin seperti itu. Oke, kita akan lihat uh, percakapan-percakapan yang lain ya. Tadi ini sudah uh, kita lihat alcoholics on assisted living budget planner. Coba kita lihat ini budget planner, coba. <tuh> What are the common monthly expenses for a student living on their own, including student and a car loan? Anda itu kira-kira ya ini pertanyaannya. Uh, how, what are the common monthly expenses for you? Anda biasanya kalau di kos-kosan, berapa? Berapa itu? Ah, habis berapa? Halo, ya, jawab enggak? Pakai mic-nya coba, mic-nya dinyalakan dong. Maybe around, Halo. maybe around five hundred thousand until one million. Oh iya, five hundred until one million ya. Itu kalau uh, untuk makan aja ya, ya. ya termasuk untuk bayarnya kan, bayar kosnya beda lagi. Oke. Okay. Uh, quite a list of your expenses. Figure out how much money you spend on each area. What percentage of your income pays for each? Di sini ada ada kosa kata baru. Lie through one step. Lie so you don't get in trouble. The man lied through his teeth, even though he was guilty of the crime. Uh, rip someone off. Cheat someone. I decided to hire a lawyer because the salesman ripped me off. <coughs> Ya. Kita lihat di sini pertanyaannya The man is speaking with his apa? Apakah mom, sister, atau his friend? How do you describe the man's current situation? Ini dia punya banyak utang Pengeluaran ya, punya banyak pengeluaran termasuk utang Dia hutang dan mencoba pinjam uang Dia dia a decent job dia punya pekerjaan yang sudah apa ya jadi sudah selesai ya dia mencari pekerjaan yang baru uh, if you to it alone what sentence best describe the man's dining practices prefer to eat alone he tries to go out to eat every night he doesn't know how to cook very well okay the man's apartment is apa a small place with a nice view of the city a spacious ada istilah spacious itu artinya sangat luas ya that includes cable TV, an apartment downtown with free parking nah, dengan parkir bebas gratis ya. The woman suggests that the man be careful when using his credit card, stop spending money on entertainment, should uh, or to get rid of his car to save money. Membuang mobilnya untuk menyimpan. Uh, Setelah kita dengarkan ini sama. Uh, could I borrow a few bucks until payday? I'm a little strapped for cash. Uh, yeah, I guess. But I'm pinching pennies myself, and you still owe me twenty dollars from last week. Oh. And Mom and your friend Ron said that you borrowed money from them this past week. Oh, yeah. And how are things going anyway? Well, not very well. To be honest, I'm really in a hole, and I can't seem to make ends meet these days. What do you mean? I thought you'd landed a great job recently, so you must be loaded. Well, I do have a job, but I've used my credit cards to pay off a lot of things recently. But now I can't seem to pay the money off. Uh, do you have a budget? I mean, how do you keep track of your income and expenses? Well, when my money runs out, I come to you, of course. Great. No, but I guess I should have some financial plan. Well, let's see if I can help you. How much money do you spend on your apartment? Uh, I pay $890 on rent for the studio apartment downtown, not including utilities and cable TV, but the place has an awesome view of the city. Uh, $890? Why are you paying through the nose for such a small place when you could find a cheaper one somewhere outside of the downtown area? Yeah, I guess. Okay, how much money do you spend on food a month? Hmm, well, I'm not really sure. I think I spend about $600. $600? Well, I go out to eat at least four times a week, so the expenses add up. I just don't enjoy eating alone, and I don't have a knack for cooking like you do. Well, I can understand that, but perhaps you ought to buy some microwavable meals you could just prepare at home. Well, I guess I could. And entertainment? Well, I spend a few dollars here and there on basketball and movie tickets, a concert or two, and ballroom dance lessons. Uh, exactly how much do you spend on all of these? Just a few dollars? Well, oh, about $400 or so. Or so? 
No wonder you're having money problems. You just can't blow your money on things like that. And what about transportation? Well, I commute to work every day in my new sports car, but I got a great deal, and my monthly payments are only four hundred fifty dollars a month. Come outside and take a look. We can go for a spin. No, I've heard enough. You've got to curb your spending, or you'll end up broke. I suggest you get rid of your credit cards,、Aww. cut back on your entertainment expenses, and sell your car.、Huh? Take public transportation from now on. Sell my car? I can't date without a car. What am I gonna say?、Uh, could you meet me downtown at the bus stop at seven? Come on. And you need to create a budget for yourself and stick to it.、Uh-huh. And start with paying off your bills, starting with me. You owe me fifty dollars. Fifty dollars? Wait, I only borrowed twenty dollars from you last week. How did you come up with fifty? Financial consulting fees. My advice is at least worth thirty. <sighs>、uh, could I borrow a few bucks until payday? I'm a little strapped for cash. Ah,、uh, yeah, I guess. But I'm pinching pennies myself, and you still owe me twenty dollars from last week.、Mm. And Mom and your friend Ron said that you borrowed money from them this past week. Oh yeah. And how are things going anyway? Well, not very well, to be honest. I'm really in a hole, and I can't seem to make ends meet these days. What do you mean? I thought you'd landed a great job recently, so you must be loaded. Well, I do have a job, but I've used my credit cards to pay off a lot of things recently. But now I can't seem to pay the money off.、Uh, do you have a budget? I mean, how do you keep track of your income and expenses? Well, when my money runs out, I come to you, of course. Great. No, but I guess I should have some financial plan. Well, let's see if I can help you. How much money do you spend on your apartment? Uh, I pay eight hundred ninety dollars on rent for the studio apartment downtown, not including utilities and cable TV. But the place has an awesome view of the city. Uh, eight hundred and ninety. Why are you paying through the nose for such a small place when you could find a cheaper one somewhere outside of the downtown area? Yeah, I guess. Okay. How much money do you spend on food a month? Hmm. Well, I'm not really sure. I think I spend about six hundred dollars. Six hundred dollars. Well, I go out to eat at least four times a week, so the expenses add up. I just don't enjoy eating alone, and I don't have a knack for cooking like you do. Well, I can understand that, but perhaps you ought to buy some microwavable meals you could just prepare at home. Well, I guess I could. And entertainment? Well, I spend a few dollars here and there on basketball and movie tickets, a concert or two, and ballroom dance lessons. Ah,、uh, exactly how much do you spend on all of these? Just a few dollars? Well,、oh, about four hundred dollars or so. Or so. No wonder you're having money problems. You just can't blow your money on things like that. And what about transportation? Well, I commute to work every day in my new sports car, but I got a great deal, and my monthly payments are only four hundred fifty dollars a month. Come outside and take a look. We can go for a spin. No, I've heard enough. You've got to curb your spending, or you'll end up broke. I suggest you get rid of your credit cards,、Aww. cut back on your entertainment expenses, and sell your car.、Huh? Take public transportation from now on. Sell my car? I can't date. Without a car, what am I gonna say?、Uh, could you meet me downtown at the bus stop at seven? Come on! And you need to create a budget for yourself and stick to、uh-huh. it. And start with paying off your bills, starting with me. You owe me fifty dollars. Fifty dollars? Wait, I only borrowed twenty dollars from you last week. How did you come up with fifty? Financial consulting fees. My advice is at least worth thirty. <sighs> Ya,、yeah, uh, kita coba cek ya di soal pertama. The man is speaking with his apa ini? Sister. Sister. Correct. I'm pinching. That is my job, and you still owe me twenty dollars from last week. And my friend Rod said he borrowed money from them this past weekend. Uh, how do you describe the man's current situation? Kira-kira apa dia? Situasinya apa dia? And maybe he has a lot of debts in his name. He's trying to borrow money. Some money. He's debt and he's trying to borrow maybe. Banyak feedback. Ah, which sentence describes the man's practices? Apa kira-kira? Uh, I think he doesn't know how to cook. How to cook very well. Ah, coba kita lihat ini. Okay. Oh, betul betul. He 
doesn't know how. I'm not really sure. I think I spent around six hundred dollars. Well, I go out to eat at least four times a week, so the expenses add up. I don't enjoy eating alone. I don't have a neck for cooking like you do. Oh yeah, ini yang di sini kalimat. Apartment ini apa nih? Di bawah. The man's apartment is a small place with a nice small place with a nice view of the city. I pay nine hundred ninety for studio apartment downtown, yeah. Not including utilities and cable TV. Jadi kalau ini sebenarnya cable TV sebagai sebatan ya. The man suggests the man apa? That the man be careful when using his credit card. Also get rid of his card to save money. Get rid of his card, yeah. Save money, yeah. Karena dia banyak keuangan di sana ya. Ini kelupaan. Ini sebaliknya kredit card juga iya, dia juga bermasalah karena lebih banyak tu dari kredit cardnya. Tapi sarannya bukan itu. And you need to create a budget for yourself and stick to it and start with paying off your bills starting with me. You owe me fifty dollars. Okay. Sebentar, bukan bukan ini, tetapi be careful. Ini kayaknya be careful kan? Sebentar, sebentar. Ini apa? Not a good guy. Tapi saya miliknya ini kayaknya ya, di sekitar sekitar ya. Tapi jawabannya ini salah ya. Jadi odd to get rid of his car ya. Oke, kita akan lihat di mix up centers. Tapi yang lagi ada di sini ya, bisa juga kita manfaatkan. Sebentar ada dulu ya, kita dengarkan ada dulu kita klik dan.
Ya, uh, kita lanjutkan coba. Kira-kira ini kalau kita ingin diurutkan ya, kalimat ini kira-kira apa ini? Ini ada istilah baru mungkin bagi Anda ya. Uh, namanya Thin Spanish. Di sana itu istilah uh, Pen Save is a Penny Earth. A penny itu artinya uh, uang ya. Jadi ini pertama apa kira-kira? C ya, mestinya C coba saya ini. Yang kedua apa? Pins, ya kan? Penis, kemudian to make and need for several years. Coba, coba kita cek ini. Betul nggak? Oh, sorry, salah ini. Yang betul, si pins penis to make and need for several years. This much of the answer is correct. Si pins penis. Berarti ininya di to make... Uh, Ini bisa juga di depan ya. Correct. Oh, maunya di depan ternyata. Uh, ya, yeah. sipin Spanish for several years to make ends meet. Ada ini udah betul ya. Tapi taruh gini. Oke, okay, jadi ada ada juga selain tadi yang saya uh, sampaikan, ada beberapa post uh, listening activities ya, yang bisa kita coba. Kita akan lihat multiple choice-nya. Ya. Ini ada multiple choice questions. Um, kita lihat di sini. Ya, yeah. uh, because you are traveling during the peak vacation season, hotel rates are very expensive. So you can expect to pay through apa kira-kira ini? Even for a small room, apa ini? Pay through apa? The mouth, ear, nose, apa kira-kira? The mouth. Apa mouth? No. Nose. Nose, ya. Yeah. Yeah. Nose. The nose. Ada P to the nose itu istilah um, apa ini ya? P to the nose. The nose itu artinya to pay too much money for something. To pay too much money for something. Ya. Jadi harga mahal. Seperti apa? Harga minyak goreng misalnya ya. Itu kita bisa gunakan ini. We have to pay through the nose yeah. to get the cooking oil. Saya seperti itu. Ya kan? Uh, nose. Oke. Okay. Kita lanjutkan. Next. Jadi ini kita belajar kosa kata baru juga. I'm really titik-titik for cash. So I was wondering if you could loan me a few dollars until next week. Ini kalau dilihat di sini kan konteksnya. Saya bertanya-tanya dalam hati, wondering itu bertanya-tanya dalam hati ya. If you could, apakah, if-nya ini apakah. Apakah kamu dapat meminjamiku, meminjamkanku beberapa dolar sampai minggu depan. Kira-kira I'm really apa ini? Halo, apa? Repet, maybe. Repet? Halo, tap apa? Tap itu kan memukul ya, tap. Tap itu kan memukul. Kalau web apa web? Membungkus. Bungkus. Berang lebih apa? Strap. Yep. Nah, kita lihat di sini kata strap ya. Di strap. Kita tahunya strap ya. Strap gitu. Strap itu harus uh, di depan itu strap ya. Uh, tapi ini strap. Strap itu artinya piece of leather or something that used for fastening something untuk menguatkan ya. Ada juga uh, uh, watch strap. Strap itu bisa juga berarti jam itu kayak apa talinya yang strapnya itu. Ada juga kalau pakai masker itu kan ada strap juga. Nah itu strap. Shoes with ankle strap. Nah, nama strap itu juga anak saya udah biasa itu istilah strap itu karena 
di kalau yang perempuan itu kan harus pakai ekstra gitu kalau pakai tudung ya masker strap di sini punya makna uh, sebentar awas strap di sini ada kok Tidak ada ya, buat saya ini. Strap something. Strap something di ini. Coba ini apa? Strap for. I'm really strap for. Tidak ada ya, strap something up. Nah ini, strap for case ini ada ini. Strap ya. However, You see, they are plainly, uh, plainly in the difficult position because they are strapped for cash. They ain't got any. Artinya strap itu bukan. Ya kan? Ini berarti apa? I'm really strapped for cash. Berarti sama saja I'm really broke. Nah, rasanya itu ya. Maka ini di sini kita gunakan kata strap. Nah, yang saya inginkan nanti ada nulis di diskusi online itu ada tuliskan kosakata kosakata baru yang anda pelajari di Uh, difficult listening activities Kita lihat yang Nomor tiga coba saya panggil aja ya uh, Apa ini ya Aura Nabila coba Aura ada gak ini Aura ini di, Yes sir ya. Apa jawabannya apa Aura System wait We have to pinch, pinch pines, pins, eh, ya, pins penis, ya. Jadi ini artinya uh, uang ya. Jadi sama dengan dolar. Jadi uang kecil-kecil itu namanya a penny, ya kan. Uh, so we have to pinch a penny for the time being to be able to buy food and pay rent, ya. Pins penis itu artinya hemat. Kita harus berhemat, ya kan? Ayah kehilangan pekerjaannya. Misalnya pada in the current situation during pandemic, ya situation we have to pins penis. Kita harus berhemat, sehemat mungkin, ya kan? Oke, kita lanjutkan. Berikutnya Asuti Kusuma, Pak Asuti. Yes, whenever, whenever I have an extra I have extra apa? Or do I save them for future purchase? Halo, apa jawabannya? Whenever I have an extra money, maybe Ya. Yeah. Sorry. Jadi istilahnya itu khusus. Extra apa? Apa? Bak. Ya. Jadi bak itu istilah uang kecil-kecil itu namanya bak. Ya. Uang receh. Kalau kita sebutannya apa? Uang receh itu bak. Maka kalau kita tidak tahu istilah-istilah begini ya, ya susah itu. Makanya harus Anda pelajari di ini. She has no idea on how to budget her money. Jadi siapa yang tahu? Revina mana Revina? Ah, Revina. Yes, sir. She has no idea on how to budget her money and she always quickly spends her money on clothes and music without saving any of it. See the answer. Spend, ya. Untuk masalah itu korek ya. <tuh> Oke, okay, that's right. Betul semua ini ya. Kita kembali ke sini. Ada satu lagi activity yang saya kita manfaatkan ya. Nah, yang saya minta nanti Anda untuk pelajari sendiri. Ini kan banyak. Saya kan tidak bisa apa kita putar semua satu-satu. Waktunya tidak tidak muat juga. Maka anda selama seminggu ini tugasnya anda dengarkan percakapan-percakapan yang ada di situ. 
dan nanti akan ada soal dari saya. Soal itu sebagian saya ambilkan dari uh, difficult listening exercises yang ada di sini. Kalau Anda sudah belajar pasti bisa. Gitu ya. Nanti hujan tengah semester akan saya buka besok insya Allah. Kalau enggak ya Rabu. Waktunya seminggu nanti. Termasuk soal-soal begini listening. Nanti ada soal speaking sugar. <tuh> ya, jelas. Maka Anda pelajari. Kan banyak masa kata baru di sini. Kalau Anda enggak pelajari pasti enggak bisa. Kemudian nanti yang Anda pelajari masa kata kata baru nanti ditulis di diskusi online. Masa kata ini. Coba nomor satu. Nanda coba kamu jawab. My sister titik-titik $500 on a cheap stereo and she regrets it. Kira-kira apa di sini jawabannya? I think it's blue. 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 Yeah. Nah, blue. Terus nomor dua. Coba siapa ini ya? Uh, Sania Nadia. Sania. Yes, sir. Dapat nomor apa Sania nomor dua ini? Corp. You will find yourself in a real apa? Corp. Corp. Nanti yang berikutnya jawab misal corp ini ternyata salah anda minta di sini apa ya? Uh, lanjutnya coba siapa ini namanya ini? Daniel Fahri, Daniel, Daniel. Yes, sir. But students sometimes run out of money. Run out. Run. Ya, oke. Okay. Terus Azhara. Nek Azhara. Yes, sir. Mikan apa? We can. Anda no, tidak. Our... Ini atau ya? Okay. We can cut our spending. Ariani, Haronisa, Ariani. Yes, sir. Hmm, apa jawabannya? He is apa? Ayo, Arya nih. Apa jawabannya? Load. Loaded. Bukan loading ya, ini loading kalau lama. Loaded. Berarti ini whole ya. Coba kita cek. Apakah 100% ya, betul semua ya. Jadi uh, loaded itu kira-kira coba kita lihat di sini. Kita tuh banyak belajar baru loh di sini. Ini baru saya tunjukkan ya. Ternyata kosakata Anda itu juga masih terbatas. Ya kan? Walaupun sudah lulus SMA sudah semester berapa ini? 4 ya. Loaded itu artinya um, loaded not fair especially if enggak benar ini. Which saya ini rich. He inherited the family business. He must be loaded. Nah, anda pasti juga anda tahu bahwa loaded ini artinya apa? Rich. Jadi selain kata rich ada wealthy. Sebenarnya kosakata lagi adalah namanya apa? Loaded. Jadi dia kaya karena dia mendapatkan penghasilan itu dua belas ribu dolar per bulan bulan yang lalu. Oh, itu kan berarti dia dua belas ribu kalau kali sepuluh ribu saja itu coba hitung itu sepuluh ribu itu berarti berapa seratus dua puluh juta itu kan berarti kaya itu ya enggak gaji sebulan kok siapa lah seratus dua puluh juta itu lebih pada satu bulan itu enggak sepuluh ribu ya kan satu dua puluh juta itu kalau sepuluh ribu padahal itu pasti lebih nah ini my sister blue blue itu um, kayak membuang uang ya membuang uang untuk 
stereo yang murah akhirnya dia menyesal hole ini you will find yourself in a wheel hole kalau kita istilahnya ada dari lubang tutup lubang nah, ini anda masuk ke lubang berarti buta run out kayaknya curb nah, ini curb itu harus apa curb itu me memangkas memangkas ya pengeluaran curb our spending by eating out less jadi dengan makan di luar itu lebih sedikit jadi kita tidak banyak makan di luar nah jadi itu yang uh, <tuh> nah coba saya akan buat di diskusi online <tuh> ini kelas ICT ya uh, Nah, ini saya masukkan di sini. Kita belajar difficult listening activities ya from Brandel website. Uh, Nah, saya minta Anda untuk menuliskan di sini uh, diskusi online for um, Anda tuliskan just write down new vocabulary serta contoh kalau bisa nanti saya nilai ini ya uh, ratingnya <coughs> maksimum lah masih maksimum nanti kita lanjutkan mungkin sampai di sini ada pertanyaan anda kalau ada saya lanjutkan silakan kalau ingin bertanya uh, sebenarnya materi-materi uh, untuk ekstensif itu sangat banyak Ya, ini salah satu contoh saja lah, ekstensi. Car accident, car repair, dating problem, diet plan. Coba kita bicara diet plan coba, rencana diet. Ya. Anda kenal, uh, what are three important step to losing weight in a healthy way? Anda tahu nggak cara untuk uh, apa kurus dengan cara yang sehat itu apa? Doing sports. It's apa? Doing sports. Sport. Sebenarnya istilahnya itu bukan doing sport, tetapi exercise. Jadi berolahraga itu bahasa Inggrisnya apa? Exercise. Nah ini, Anda harus tahu. Exercise, oke, okay, pertama. Yang kedua apa? What else? What else? Control the... What are we eat? In a day. So, we have to be careful about what you eat, yeah. Do not eat uh, meat, for example. What else? Eat. What else? Eat religious food. Makan-makanan. Risi. Yeah. So then, ini, sir. Uh, to do enough resting. Oh, to do. To have uh, enough. Rest, ya. Oke, okay. bisa seperti itu ya. Coba kita akan lihat di sini. One uh, have one plate full. Have to do a lot. Uh, have a lot to do. Be busy. I have my plate full with so many projects, so I don't have much free time. Nah ini my plate full is like itu. What's eating you? What is bothering or making you angry? Angry ya. Hey, what's eating you? You look so absent. Istilah-istilah begini, istilah di 
kanan ya. You look so upset. Kita akan dengarkan di sini. Pertama, the men and Drew and women are apa ini? Close friends, siblings. Anda tahu nggak siblings itu apa bahasa Indonesia nya? Saudara. Saudara. Saudara se- sekali. Sama dengan brother sister ya. Andrew find out about his new diet on TV and watch it mail from friend. Oke. Okay. You can invite the Andrew hasn't gone running yet. Hasn't started new exercise program. Exercise di sini artinya olahraga ya. Just join a fitness center. Nah, ini. The problem with eating at night is that you feel hungrier in the morning hours. The body isn't active to use up the extra calories. Your blood pressure increases because of the extra fat. Terus, uh, the woman know Andrew is a regular customer at McDonald's because he is a well-known customer at restaurant. The manager drop off some food at his house and do some work in the refrigerator. Coba kita dengarkan ini sekarang. Hey Andrew, A- Andrew, <laughs> what? Andrew, <laughs> what? What's wrong? What happened to you? What do you? You mean my hair? You like my hair? Uh, I think you know what I mean, Andrew. <laughs> do you want me to be honest? <laughs> what? Okay, Andrew, you put on like a ton of weight since I saw you at Christmas time. What on earth happened to you? <laughs> Why are you so blunt? Well, I'm your big sister. I'm your. I've. What am I like? Three years older than you, and I can be blunt if I want. Besides, you used to say stuff like that to me all the time. You used to call me fat so all the time when I was little. Oh yeah. Well, to be honest, uh, I started changing my life yesterday. Oh good. I'm on the Wafu diet. What? The I've never even heard of the Wafu diet. What is that? Oh, it's too difficult to explain. I found information about it in my junk mail the other what? day. What? You read your junk mail? <laughs> no one I, reads their junk mail. And I signed up for it, and it only cost $490. Is you're serious? Yeah. 490 bucks? Yeah. Like every month or every week? or I didn't check that. Uh, uh, oh, but, man. But, 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 but I think it's going to be. Listen, I, I think you're getting scammed, and it sounds really stupid. So listen, I'm not fat anymore. So trust me, I, if you want to lose weight, you need to do it the right way. Well, like what? Well, okay. Okay. Uh, well, look. Look at my running shoes over there. Andrew, they're still in the box. You've never <laughs> used them. Besides, exercise, yeah, exercise is wonderful. It's great. But you also need to learn to eat right. For example, you need to eat smaller portions. Uh-huh. And, and you can't load up your plates with seconds and thirds like you always used to do at the family parties. Well, okay, I'll just get a bigger plate. <laughs> Andrew, that won't help. Next. Be oh, sure- next? Oh, yeah. So, first of all, smaller portions. Okay. Then, you need to make sure you eat a good, well-balanced breakfast oh, first I, thing in the morning. I do that. And then you follow that up with smaller meals throughout the day. Because you know what? If you skip breakfast, then throughout the day, you feel like you need to make up for it by overeating at lunch and dinner and lots of snacks. Uh, well. Anyway, um... Oh, yeah. Don't eat late at night. What? Like what? Well, you know, a lot of people, they want it, They want a late night snack and stuff like that. But a lot of times that's really, really high calorie stuff like ice cream and things. And your body's not active to burn it off. So you just store all those calories as fat. You don't have to throw away. Oh, my gosh. What? That's all you have in your freezer. You've only got ice cream in here. You no, don't have to throw all that away. It's, it's low calorie. Locale. No, it's not locale. Look right here. Andrew, oh. that's all the food you've got in here is ice cream. Okay, well, what else? What else? Okay, also, what else are you eating? Well, you know. I mean, seriously, all you eat is ice cream? Oh, no. oh, oh, look, in your trash? You go to McDonald's. What? Every what? day. <laughs> Every day you're eating at fast food? Well... Okay, you, you got to cut out the fast food. When you know the manager of McDonald's by name and he's your best buddy on Facebook, you know that you're going to McDonald's or any fast food place too much. Oh, this is going to be tough. Yeah, it probably will be. But you also need to eat a lot of fresh fruits and vegetables. Oh, well. Cut way back on sugar. Ugh. No more sugary drinks like those five gallons of Coke you're drinking every day. <laughs> Don't drink five gallon. Close enough. Look at the size of those cups. How many times do you refill them? Oh, it, well, then drink what? Water. Water? It's really good for you. Oh, this is going to be tough. It might be. <laughs> <laughs>
Ya, soal pertama coba. Ini kira-kira apa? Tabungan apa ini? Close friend, sibling atau high school and wife? Sibling. Close friends, maybe. Close friends. 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 Through unwanted mail. Jamil ya, jamil itu unwanted sama. Oh, bukan inferi Andrew apa ini? Hasn't gone running yet. Belum dibuka ya. My running shoes over there, Andrews. Eh, dia still in the box. Alat begitu. Kita, hey, dia still in the box. Ini the box, the box kita beda lagi ya. The box tegan. Eh, the box apa? Pisang ya. The problem with eating at night is that apa? The body is not active. The body is not active to use up the extra calories. Kalau kita makan malam-malam itu apa? The body is not active. Mati jadi lemak ya. Don't eat late at night. Okay. Kemudian the woman knows Andrew is a regular customer at McDonald's because apa? Is well known customer. Well known customer. Well known customer. Yeah, every night, every day you are eating at fast food. Okay, you got to cut out the fast food. When you know the man manager of McDonald's by name and is your best buddy, buddy ini teman ya. Okay, cara saya itu nanti coba anda kerjakan ini yang saya minta. Kemudian nanti ujian tengah semester akan saya munculkan di sini ya. Apa, besok insya Allah besok ya nanti saya buat ini nanti besok pagi saya buka silakan dikerjakan waktunya durasi saya buka sampai seminggu ya durasi seminggu sebelum minggu depan sudah selesai itu ya um, kemudian yang untuk online discussion silakan ditulis di sini tadi kosakata baru saya minta anda untuk mempelajari semua yang ada di uh, apa namanya di sini Kan yang difficult ini kan banyak ini, dari 7 to hour emergency kit sampai apa? Where's the movie theater? Anda pelajari saja, ini saya yakin kosa kata-kosa kata baru. Ini tadi Anda menemukan kosa kata baru nggak waktu kita belajar hari ini? Halo? Kosa kata baru apa? Kita refresh. Apa aja? Exercise. Pinch penis. Pinch penis. Lagi. Badan. Trap four. I threw the nose. Ball. Great. Page three. Nose. Straight. Strapped for cash. What's eating you? Loaded is straight, so exercise four. Strapped. Yes. Kosa kata yang baru di situ banyak apa sedikit yang anda tak ketahui? Sedikit. Makanya nanti elit jangan terlalu percaya diri wah saya kosa kata saya sudah banyak tidak perlu belajar itu jangan karena ternyata masih banyak kosa kata kosa kata yang mungkin kita masih belum kuasai ya saya akan presensi ini saya stop sharing dulu aja ini. 